Bandwidth Management and Reporting Bandwidth Management is a licensed module. This means it needs to be installed separately in a new SmoothWall installation. In the SmoothWall, available modules can be found under System, Maintenance, Modules. Here you will see a list of everything that is installed, as well as anything that you are licensed to install. Click Install next to the Bandwidth Module. Most modules will require that you reboot the system when they are complete. The smooth wall will display a warning. Click to reboot when prompted. Once the reboot is complete, sign into the user interface as usual. You will now see that the bandwidth tab is available at the top of the user interface. The bandwidth module manages the bandwidth of internet traffic. In a busy network, you may want to prioritize certain types of traffic, such as general browsing over video streaming or file downloads. This will ensure that a handful of users downloading or watching videos don't cripple the internet for all the other users. You can also put a cap on certain services to control them, or put an upper limit on downloads to ensure users don't download too much in your organization. Navigate to Bandwidth, Control, Classes. Classes are a way to group source addresses or a network range to be able to decide which shaping policy to apply. By default, there is a catch-all rule which applies to any traffic not specified in a rule above. Click on Add New Class. Give your class a logical name. In this case, we will use Guest Network. Here, we will enter the source address range for your guest network. You can select a shaping policy from the default ones on the drop-down list. In this case, we will choose Slow Video Streaming as we don't want our guest network users to be able to download videos and use a lot of bandwidth. Click Add and the new rule will apply. You can define your own individual shaping policy by navigating to Bandwidth, Control, Shaping Policies. Here you will see a list of all the shaping policies that come as a default with the Bandwidth Management module. There are logically shaped policies for business, to control video streaming, and for the hotel industry, for example. Expanding slow video streaming, we are able to see two sets of applications or slices controlled by this policy. The top set is video streaming, and we can see it contains various video streaming applications, including Google Video and Netflix. The slice has a relative weighting value, as well as an upper cap maximum bandwidth that is available to those services for both incoming or outgoing traffic. Below this, there is a default slice, which applies to all other traffic that isn't matched to a slice above. The bandwidth shaping policy uses the relative weight as a factor, so in this case it will limit video streaming to a maximum of 10% of the bandwidth. To create a new policy, click Add New Policy. Give it a logical name and click Add. Click on the down arrow next to the name and you will see the rule is created with a default slice in only. Click Add a new slice. Name the slice and in this case we will call it Video. You can choose application groups from the drop down list or expand them to choose individual applications. Under Streaming Media, we will take the specific applications we want to limit in our policy. Next, we enter the weighting. In this case, we want to limit it to a low value. We also limit the bandwidth with an upper cap value. Click Add to add this slice. In this case, no more than 10% of traffic can be used by our defined applications. And they are capped at 256 kilobytes per second for incoming and outgoing traffic. To prioritize web browsing, we can add a new slice called web browsing and choose the HTTP application option.
We want to give this a much larger weighting, so we will leave this at 10 and not cap the upper value. Now in our policy, HTTP and all other traffic receive an even weighting, but our video group of applications will receive no more than 5% of the available bandwidth. Now that the guest network policy is created, we can return to our guest network class and change it to our custom guest network shaping policy. Save changes and the rule will be applied to our chosen class. Navigating to Bandwidth, Control, Interfaces, you can enable bandwidth management on the external interface you want it applied. Click Add a new interface limit and choose the interface you want to configure. Enter the interface maximum line speed for both incoming and outgoing traffic. This is used to calculate how the traffic is split in the shaping policies. Allow a percentage of your total available bandwidth for network traffic overheads, so set the value to 95% of your available total bandwidth. We will repeat the process for our other interface. Now all of the shaping policies that have been enabled will be working. Once you have configured your bandwidth policies and interfaces, you can monitor them under Bandwidth, Diagnostics, Monitoring. Here you will see a breakdown across the interfaces you have enabled policies on by the type of traffic, the classes, and the application slices. It will give you an indication of how much of that type of traffic is flowing at a given moment in time.